Before you can install a garbage disposal, you need to measure the distance between the drain and the top of the unit. If you have an old disposal, you can reuse the T in the mounting ring. If you have a new disposal, you can remove the existing tailpiece and replace it with a new one. When you are done, you can turn the garbage disposal on and plug it into the drain. The next step is to turn on the unit. To begin the process, flip the disposal over and unscrew the electrical cover plate. If it does not come with a cord, you will need to buy one. Locate the cable connector and push it through the access hole at the bottom of the disposal. Be careful not to push the wires through the cardboard shield, so you do not cause damage. Once the wires are in, replace the electrical cover plate. Make sure the disposal is plugged in properly, then plug in the power cord and turn on the unit. To install a garbage disposal, the first step is to connect the power cord to the disposal. Place the disposal on the floor of your kitchen, and then align the rubber ring with the drain flange. Once the disposal is seated in place, secure it with a wrench and tighten the strain relief fitting. Then, rotate the disposal to the drain assembly. When the flange is seated in place, the outlet should be situated in front of the drain pipe connection. Once you have secured the power cord, you can start installing the garbage disposal. The next step is to install the cover plate and connect the power cord. The drain pipe connection is the next step. You should align the rubber ring of the garbage disposal with the drain flange. Then, align the rubber ring with the drain flange. Once the flange is in place, tighten the strain relief fitting using pliers. After the garbage disposal is installed, you should check it for leaks. Use a flashlight to check for obstructions and tighten the connections. To prevent the unit from leaking, turn off the dishwasher and unplug it. If the appliance is turning on, you can turn on the power and plug in the disposal. The next step in the installation process is to turn off the power and plug it in. You should see the light that shows the drain and garbage disposal, and then close the lid. The next step in garbage disposal installation is to check for any obstructions. You may notice a humming sound or a grinding noise. These sounds are indicators of a motor failure. If this happens, it is time to replace the unit and reconnect the electrical wiring. You will need a flange and a sink tap to connect to the garbage disposal. Ensure that the connections are not damaged when you are replacing the disposal. Once the unit is installed, it's time to check for leaks. The pipes and electrical connections of the disposal can leak. If you find any leaks, you should immediately fix them. Otherwise, you could end up with a bigger problem. You should also consider how frequently you use the unit. The more often you use it, the more likely it is to be damaged. So, if you're concerned about a leaking sink drain, you can call the local plumber to install a new one. Aside from professional installation, you can also do the repairs yourself. If you don't have the necessary skills to repair the unit, you can use dishwashing soap to clean the drain pipe. Then, pour cold water into the drain pipe. It's important to rinse the unit thoroughly to remove all food residue. Likewise, you can put baking soda and vinegar into the garbage disposal to eliminate odors. After this, let the unit drain any trapped food particles. You should also consider whether you need a continuous or batch system. You should know what type of garbage disposal you need before you hire a professional to install one. Generally, the more popular type is the continuous system, while the batch model is best suited for those who grind up large batches of food on a regular basis. However, if you have a combination of both, you should go with the batch model. The latter will be more convenient for your kitchen, but it might cost you more.